Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. In this today's video I will show you how to design this gear frame model along with animation. In our previous video, I have shared this model animation. Some of our subscribers asked us to make a tutorial on this. So, let's begin the video. Here we are in Part Studio. First of all, we need to draw a sketch to draw the positions and how much dimension gears we want. Therefore, it will be easy for us in either gear position and also while doing the assembly. So basically, we need three gears. So, let's draw the circles as shown. The outer circle and inside one circle and other circle should be inside and outside as well. Now give dimensions to the circles as you required. Here I am giving 5 inch dia for outside circle, 2 inch for inner circle. Tangent the inner circle to the outside circle using tangent constraint. And repeat the same to the inner circle and middle circle as well. Now give dimension to this outside circle. Make sure it should be outside of the outside circle. Now give the dimension to this circle. I am giving 4 inch in diameter. Even you can differentiate the gear sizes as you want. So, the output of the model will also changes. Now we are done with the sketch. Save the sketch by clicking on green button. Now we have to add the gears. Here I am using the spur gear feature script or custom tool. In the spur gear pop-up window, Give the values as required. Change the pitch diameter of gear that equals to the sketch dimensions. Click on the helical checkbox and give 45 or 44 degrees angle. And also increase the thickness of the gear up to 0.3 inch. Now save it. But here we need a ring gear. So, for that we need to draw a cylinder. So, hide the previous sketch. And draw another sketch. Draw a circle. That should be more than the gear diameter. Now save the sketch and extrude it up to same thickness of the gear. Now use the boolean tool and subtract the gear from the cylinder. And I am uncheck this box because I do need this gear anymore. Now save the boolean operation. We got the helical ring gear now. Now visible the previous sketch and add the other two gears as per the dimensions. Before that, we need to remember the gear module. Because, the three gears should have the equal module. Then only the gears will mesh correctly. Now give the same values as we given for the ring gear. Except the pitch diameter of the gears. And in this second gear, we need to change the origin of the gear. For that, select the origin checkbox and select the point you want. Here add the hole to the gear by check on the centerboard checkbox. And give how much hole size you want. Then save the gear. Now do repeat the same process for other gear. Now increase the center hole. This hole should not touch the ring gear. We are done with gears. Now we have to change the position of this middle gear. Like showing in this model, we have to change this gear position. Like we need to rotate the gear to 90 degrees along the x-axis. To rotate the gear. First we need to have the axis reference. For that, draw a sketch of two small lines for the axis. And save the sketch. Now use the transform tool. Select the gear and select the type of transform is rotate. And select the lines we drawn as the axis. Now rotate it up to 90 degrees and save the transform. Now we have to add the frame. For that rotate the plane to 45 degrees and draw the frame sketch as showing. 
even you can draw your own frame you want. Here I am just drawing a circular frame to hold the ring gear specifically. The sketch design is finished and save the sketch. Now extrude the sketch using the extrude tool. Now I am using the revolve tool because to create a round base stand for the frame. Here it's showing the over constrained indication. Because, the surface is only connected tangentially. For that, I am going to use the Move Face tool to increase the face width of the base. Select the Move Face tool and select the faces as shown where the blue part is completely inside. Now use the Boolean tool and combine the both parts. Now use the transform tool again and rotate the frame up to 28 degrees. If you want, you can increase the angle as you want. But, you have to make sure the gears are meshing correctly or not. Select the face of this gear and draw a sketch that will hold this gear in its position. Just like a frame to hold it. Make sure the frame do not touch the frame. Let's extrude the frame using the extrude tool. Now add this orange frame to the main frame by drawing the sketch and doing the extrude operation. Now do the extrude operation and merge with the main frame. Therefore, frame design is complete. Now the design is complete. We have to do the assembly for the parts. Sorry. We forgot something. We need to add the gear shaft and it should connect to the main frame. Add the connection tube or something that will hold the gear in its position. Here I am using the drawing the sketch of two circles. Now draw a guide curve to connect these both circles. Here I am offset the plane to the gear center using point plane. Now draw a curve that will intersect with the both circle centers. Once finish the sketch, select the sweep tool and select the face of circle and the guide curve we had drawn. Now the tube is added to the main frame. Finish the sweep operation. And add the face here to hold the gear using extrude tool. Now we completed the design of this model. Let's give a finish touch by smooth the sharp edges using the fillet tool.
Create the assembly tab and insert the parts from the respective part studio into assembly tab. We inserted the all the required parts. Now fix this frame to the origin using the fasten mate connector. Select the fasten mate, select the base edge and select the origin which is parallel to the frame base. We fasten the frame to the origin. Now connect the gears using the Revolut mate connectors in their positions respectively. Because gears should rotate when performing animation. Gears are connected. Now we need to add the gear relation to every two gears. For that, select the gear relation. And select the Revolut 1 and Revolut 3. And enter the gear ratio here as we had learned in previous videos for every relation. If you missed it check out the description. But here the direction of rotation is opposite to each other. In that case edit the gear relation, and click the checkbox showing opposite direction. Now they are rotating or revolving in correct direction. Do add the gear relation to the other two gears as well. Select Revolut 2 and Revolut 3 and add the gear ratio. Again here you can observe the gear teeth are intersecting each other which it means something is wrong. But, here the gear relation is correct. Only the helical direction of the gear is wrong. So, let's change it in the part studio by editing the gear tool and change from clockwise direction to anti-clockwise direction. But still the gear teeth are intersection. In that case, drop down the Revolut mate connector and edit any one of the mate connector by right click on it. Click on move and rotate it for few degrees in its position and save it. Now let's check how it's working. Now the gears are meshing correctly without intersecting and working fine. Let's do animate it. The gear frame model is working fine and good. That's all about in this video. If you liked the tutorial and understood the concept, please do like, share, comment and subscribe our channel Chandra Awesome. And thanks for watching.